Okay, now it's time for the final element of the song, which is a 808 snare sound. Okay, and notice this is the only channel that I haven't loaded up any kind of plugin. You know, here we have the 202, um, we have the sound font players over here, we have our sample tank over here, okay, and this final channel is just a snare on a regular channel. And the way I loaded that up was you go to channels, left click, go to add one, and then go down to your sampler option. And it adds another channel in the step sequencer. And then we want to load a sound into there. So you right click on that, go to load sample, find out whatever sound you want to use, left click on it, there he goes. Okay, open, boom, there it is. And if you left click on the, the sample, your channel settings window comes up, and there's your sample. Okay, so the reason why I did it like this is because I'm going to um, roll these snares from high to low. Okay, so instead of uh, the two, you know, using the SR202 um, and, and putting snares on each one of these channels, if I just use a regular uh, sampler channel in FL, then um, it's already it's already uh, goes across the keyboard. And I'm going to show you that what I'm talking about in a minute. So if you right click on this and then go to piano roll, okay, it turns uh, your wave sound into MIDI data. So you can as you notice, if I left click, okay, it's on C5 is um, your bass note. And as you notice, if I left click and hold it and drag it up, drag it down, it brings it up and down the piano roll. Okay, and that's how you. Um, that's how you get that 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 uh, high to low sound, that pitch snare sound, okay? That pitch hi hat. You can do it, uh, you know, anything, um, any kind of drum sound. So let's go ahead and let me see where I have this. It's towards the end of the song, okay, right there. So let me see where I have it on the piano roll here. Okay, it's at the end of the second bar. Let's just get a preview here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is let me just go ahead and select these, Control A, and then copy it, Control C, go down to my piano roll, okay, go down to the end of the second bar, Control V, I'm going to paste it, we're just putting it there for reference, okay, and actually this is probably going to play, yeah, because it's it's in a sampler. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just wing this here. And let me just con select all these, take those out. Okay. We're going to play our pattern. Okay. Let me just, uh, let me mute this. Okay, we're going to find the note that we want it to start at. About right there. Okay. And then we're just going to we're going to roll it. We're going to copy it. Okay, we're going to sh first we're going to shrink it. Let me stress this out real quick. Okay, let's shrink it down. And we won't have to do this for all the notes. I'm just going to um duplicate duplicate this, excuse me, four times. Okay. And now I'm going to type E. I'm going to select it. Get my pencil letter P shift click bring it down okay now I'm gonna do the same thing bring it down again let's hear what that sounds like okay that's a little bit too fast okay so um we're just gonna make these just a little bit bigger so let me go ahead and just erase that again and yeah Okay, that's a little better there. The smaller you go, the faster the speed is going to be. Okay, that's better. So let's go ahead and um, just duplicate these. E. Okay, pencil tool. Shift click. Drag it down. 
Okay, same thing, shift click, drag it down. And notice I'm going, I'm not going directly underneath it, I'm skipping a note and I'm going down another one. Okay, let me just do it one more time here. Okay, let's hear what this sounds like. Okay, man, I love that sound. Okay, it's as simple as doing that. And then to make that final, <laughs> how you want to do it? Um, okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to shrink these because now I do want it to be faster. Okay, now I'm going to add one right, if I can squeeze it in there. Let me go ahead and get my brush, put one there, put one there. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, there we go. Okay, once again, our verse of the day is in the book of Proverbs, chapters 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will direct your paths. Trust God. When the hard times come, trust God. When your back's against the wall, trust Him. He's sovereign. He knows what you need. Allow Him to take over your life. Take control of your situations. Learn how to lean on Him for everything. Because your way out of a situation may not be the way that he wants you to take. Trust him. Do you trust him? Do you love him? Do you give your life to him? Just give him your all. And he'll give you his best. Seek his will in all you do. And he will direct your paths. <laughs>